Welcome back to the CBH 4K, and this is Falling Frontier SATCOM trailer. Now, I have talked a few times about Falling Frontier in the past, but here is a trailer they just released today uh, on the 28th of November. It's basically talking, uh, well, showing a nice little preview of the game, but also they that our message saying that this game is going to be postponed to 2025. That's kind of a long way away for most of us. Like, we're all like, what? 2025? But think about, the, think about it like this. It's going to take time to finish this game. And this is a very complex game. And there's uh, not that many people working on it. I think it's like one person. Maybe hired somebody else to do the music. So the development cycle is probably going to be Longer for this one than normal games. So I just ask that maybe some of you be patient with it. Wishlist it. Keep up to date with it. Subscribe to this channel to also keep up to date with it. Because I will be doing frequent updates on it from time to time. I won't do it regularly. But whenever they release a big piece of news like this, I will. Or a trailer. Fact, matter of fact, just assume I'm going to do most of the trailers that come out for this game from now on. But, without further ado, the SATCOM trailer, and like always, I'm going to show the trailer after doing this intro, and then I'm going to talk about it in the breakdown portion of the video. Is it confirmed? Yes, it's confirmed. Fourth Fleet is engaged in operations around Jupiter. Well, who else is there? The Caligula and Richmond. Okay, patch me in.
Okay, let's go into the video. Let's mute it. Alright, so first up, I would like to say, I like the star map here. Uh, I think this might be just a cut team. But it has a nice little, like, a little bit of futuristically futuristic vibe to it, which I do enjoy. I do like the ships. Uh, I like the cutscenes. If these are in-game cutscenes, I wouldn't have a problem with that. I'm featuring it here. Nice movement with the ships, and yeah. Now let's let's get to the meat of the gameplay. Um, the cans firing. That's pretty good. The missiles being tracked. That's also good. Uh, it has a nice little. They, they got nice little UI spots so you can see them flying. I hope there's fighters. I thought for a moment I saw fighters in this trailer, but I'm not sure. Which is fair enough. If there's no fighters in it, that's that's okay. I can live with there being no fighters. Uh, there's so much stuff already going on. But I would really like fighters. But yeah, the missiles do a good job. And I see them firing off flak a little bit to confuse the missiles or maybe even like cannons to shoot the missiles down all those seem nice and these aren't the big massive ships these are like what you call it um destroyers so i'm guessing there's probably bigger ships like frigates and stuff like that mm -hmm. i also like the fact that time slows down when you're making decisions or when you're making a nice little pause and you're trying to figure out what the next action should be and you're but it doesn't like pause it pause it it sort of slows time down now let's see all right yeah so and here it is all right there's like four valves select target select rear valve Vulcans okay and like they got a nice little picture it was good the navigator the engineer, the gunner, and of course the commander. I wonder if they have special traits or whatnot. Um, wow, it's a beautiful, it's a beautiful display right there. Yeah, this looks like a fun and well implemented game. Just based off of this, if it's not like this, could be misleading, you know. Let's keep that in mind. This could all could be misleading. So let's take a little bit of a skepticism. But so far, I don't see anything like too. Oh. And I wonder if you'll be able to name the ships. That'll be a nice feature to show off. So I don't think we've seen that many trailers where they're able to name the ships. Also, like um, here, like right here. Where the the ship fired off and hit a friendly unit, causing damage. Also, like when the hits, it, it causes a little bubble. Does a nice little graphic um, uh, detail to it. It adds something to uh, the action. Presentation is huge when it comes to polish, especially for tactical and strategy games, because. Tactical and strategy games are usually have like sometimes have you slow action and they take a minute to get going and you need some way to convey a big explosion like in XCOM that there's that kill can that stops everything down and pauses and goes in on the soldier and you see them like take a good shot. That's pretty it adds to one the immersion to the gameplay and B it adds a little bit of fun factor to it. And the presentation really goes to another level when they do things like that in the game. Now, we are I think this is a special ability he's about to fire off. I'm not sure. Like it's pausing time down. And it's doing like a whole thing like that. And of course, Escape Pods gameplay. They mentioned that earlier in previous trailers. Like, this is basically a slugging match. Like this ship started out outnumbered and was taking bad damage, taking a ton of damage, was badly and from the two ships. But somehow it's able. The odds were evened, and now it's just by itself trying to fight. 
Yeah, and there's a good chance it could win. That's the crazy part. There's a good chance it could win. And you pull out. And that's just one conflict in a massive, massive star system in a galaxy. I'm so glad. Yeah, this this looks pretty good. That that map looks good. It's giving a sense of scale. And you can have conflicts all over the map. That would be pretty cool. Like you have ten conflicts all over the place. And you're focusing on one right over here. And meanwhile, there's three others that are happening over here. Or like a big one that's happening right here. And you and you have to pick where you're going to focus your attention to. Like, obviously, you want to try to focus on the massive conflict. But down here, this could be an important one. This could be an important officer down here. That You could be knocking out a major part of the network down here. It's all, it's all connected and it all has importance so you'll probably be trying to switch between the two and you'll let this other one over here go to pieces which allows them to establish a foothold and just really muck, muck up your day yeah there's a lot of detail to this game already um how would i rate this trailer i say it's a pretty good trailer it's got a decent amount of gameplay the cutscene in the beginning dragged on a little bit, but not too long. And they just got us right into the gameplay. They showed us how how tactics and maneuverability are a huge play a huge factor in battles, not just the numbers. Because if you've got the right tactics and you're thinking about what your opponent's gonna be doing and how to counter that and what's best to trick them. You can turn a losing situation into a very easy win situation for yourself. Sort of like Total War. And I feel like this is Total War with spaceships. Almost. Almost. There's no general speeches. And of course, there's no general speeches in Total War. Now, but... I digress. Yeah. Uh, from what I've seen... From what we've seen here... I would... I would have to say it's pretty good. The trailer is pretty good. Not. Uh oh. It has nice graphics. It has nice graphics on display. Nice presentation. Nice um, gameplay being shown off. I don't know if this will make it into the final version. We don't know. This could ch still change. But let's look up at the top here because I've been ignoring that on purpose so we can build suspense it looks like we got uh, various different resources we need to keep in, in check in this area we got a name of this area I'm thinking is Titan Rises we got a nice little ship display we have the ship's class right here we have the hull fuel food munitions Mm. there's a lot of moving parts to this which could be good for people who like to have mess around with moving parts and things and get maximum efficiency and other things like that and of course if you don't like having like the small details and to mucking around with those like don't care for much for messing around with ammunition on various aspect of your game then yeah I get it if someone says like I don't care too much about ammunition and stuff like that or forgetting my troops nothing like that I just I just want to play a space game but for the rest of us that this could not this adds a nice little extra uh, depth to the game that would otherwise be missing all right guys don't forget to subscribe and i'll catch you in the next one take care